What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Living a Life of Abundance. Let's get straight into it. <laughs> oh my God! Wrapped up like a trash bag. Shots fired! What is that? So sometimes I like look in the mirror and I'm just like, you know, like I look pretty freaking good. She just farted. And <sighs> this is one of those moments. Big bag, big bag. Like a mad scientist. Wow. What I need. I can't give it to you here, baby. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can't give it to you here, baby. Like Mexican, so. Nah, nah, you, nah, you, you're my boy in trouble. Come on, come on, come on. Nah, you Bro, this is why I always say a woman that's easy to get is hard to keep. A woman that's hard to get is easy to keep. If she's willing to give it up like this, brother man, more than likely, she's a runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. Trouble, you want you, you really want to make out? You kind of do want to. You get about it? Kiss? Baby, I know how to do everything. You know how to kiss? Let's but go. Curve her, please. <laughs> yeah, thank gotcha. you. <laughs> like this. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Is it just me? Bro, she's got the voice of Mickey Mouse. Fucking spread them cheeks and shut my mouse. Random fun <laughs> fact for the boys. Whenever you get rejected by a Latina, just remember this. I'm so confused. Oh my god. She thought she was she thought she was at her friend's house. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm so sorry, wrong house. <laughs> That's the wrong address. <laughs> sorry. No, no, it's okay. You can keep dancing. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> keep dancing. It's fine. I'm so sorry. Yo, Bro, that'd be annoying. Yo, yo, yo. Like, I saw people when I lived in an apartment. I saw people that would put up the ring cameras on their like apartments, and I'm like, I bet those things go off constantly. I mean, I have one now that I have a house, but it's, I guess it's a little bit um, different. Politely solved. Oh! Wow! You all right? Yeah, I think you're going the wrong way. Yeah, and you're not using a crosswalk. You're right. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Savagery. Hey, now, you think I'm a fucking nigga? You know me? Oh. <laughs> He's about to smack the fire out of this dude. When I heard gangster, I mean, generation look cooked right here. Let's see. Goodness gracious. Never have I ever best friends edition. Ooh. Never have I ever got fired from a job. All right. <laughs> Never have I ever. Slept Are they cosplaying as Shrek? Shots fired! Are these one of those uh, face masks that these girls are doing these days? With my best friend's boyfriend while she was out of town on a ski trip. Wait, 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 wait. Never have I ever slept with my best friend's boyfriend while she was out of town on a ski trip. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? I already know the truth. You don't have to lie about it. <laughs> There's no point in lying. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, oh my gosh, she's cooked. From who? Like, what do you what, mean? I didn't. Does know. it matter? Do you have anything to say? No, I. I don't know who told you that. That's. The well, lie. Don't lie to me. Don't lie no, to me. I'm, don't lie I'm to my not. fucking face right now. Even Batman cannot. You see her? She got caught like a catfish, like a bass fish. That is brutal, bro. But only women would do this. See, men would go straight and throw it in the the fisticuffs. Like, she really did bring her over to put on that little face mask, and then, goodness gracious, that is some devious work. Like him. Why not? I just, I don't know. I just. <laughs> I'm a bot. I'm a bot. I'm a bot. I'm a bot. <laughs> <laughs> we live in as women. Women have no emotional intelligence. This lady is based. Is believing that we have high emotional intelligence. And setting the record straight, Women have no emotional intelligence. The I'll take it from me. Hey, don't shoot the messenger here. Karen seats. Maybe it sits. Show you somewhere you can sit, honey. <laughs> Reason that as women we want to believe we have emotional intelligence is because we are emotional. <laughs> because we are emotional. As women, we want to think we have high emotional intelligence. But the truth is... <laughs> is the fact that we are highly emotional is actually the biggest indicator that we have very low emotional intelligence because 
being emotional is having no control over our emotional state, which is low emotional intelligence. High emotional intelligence is the ability to be pragmatic, to see things realistically, Logical. and to make choices and respond to life not from an emotional place. It's the ability to be in control of our emotional state and operate in life from that place. Preach it, honey. There was a comment she under this video. She is freaking that preaching. Get this lady an award because she is preaching from the mountaintops right now. But that's so true. Women are emotional. Therefore, you can't have emotional intelligence because if you did, you'd be able to regulate your emotions. But biologically, you're just wired to be more emotional. So how would you have more emotional intelligence if that's just how you're wired? Men are more logical. It's just how we are. But it's so funny to me that most women will always think that they are more emotionally intelligent. But emo uh, from that lady, uh, ladies ain't even got emotional intelligence. I love it. I am 30. How much would you want a first date to cost? It doesn't matter because I pay for myself and he should pay for himself. Base. In case like it doesn't work out. So nobody should waste money. So on the first wow. date, you'd be fine if we split it 50-50. I've always done that. Why is that your mentality? Because I feel like a man shouldn't waste his money on me if I'm not interested in him, vice versa. Wow, base take. So at what point do you start letting your man pay for you? When we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Does that mean he has to pay for your hair and your nails too? Oh hell no, I'm an independent woman. I work in cybersecurity. I got me. And he should know that even if he said it's 10%, I can handle that 90%. That's how confident I am in me. Now, what about when you're married? When I'm married, same difference. It's 2023, you know? That mentality where a woman... It's actually 2024. 2024, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit tipsy. I think most men will agree with me Wow, here. that is um, amazing. You just don't see that enough. The men around her are acting super childish. Guys, don't be like that. This girl is based. If they were actually listening, this is the kind of girl that you go to get. But the thing is, I always say this, you never find your wife at the club. You never find her at the bar either. People are like, where do I meet people? Where do I go to find singles? Well, you don't go to the bar or the club. You really don't. Not a good idea too. Because um, if you do, those are that's what you're going to attract. Um, and I wouldn't say that you really want to attract a woman that's going to the bar or the club frequently. Young man today, women expect him to be a millionaire at 20, which he isn't. Nobody gives a sh** about his opinion at all. He can himself, nobody cares. He isn't born with any innate value because he's not beautiful like a woman is. So he has to build himself from the ground up. He has no teachers in any way. There's people like us on the internet, fine, but everyone around him is going to convince him that we're bad people. Everything he's being told in regards to his natural feelings, his natural instincts and inclinations he's being told makes him a bad person, makes him toxic for feeling like a man in any way. It's very hard to be a young man today, and they feel disenfranchised with the system. They start listening to me, and they go, oh, I feel better if I do this. I feel better if I go to the gym. I feel better if I start to take responsibility and take accountability, and I, I feel better if I'm not afraid of pain anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel better if I understand that I'm supposed to suffer. Yes. So that's what's going to make me the best person that I could possibly be. And on top of all See, that... See, that's what I don't, that's what I don't get, is like why people hate on the Tate brothers so much when in reality, that is like, that's essentially my messaging. Go, go do the things that are hard. Go conquer your fears. The life you want to live is on the opposite side of all the things you're afraid to do. Like, you should want to go out there and be uncomfortable. Like, men, we strive off of challenges. We strive off of hardship. Why would you want just an easy life and, and for it to be mundane? And this whole masculinity thing. Look at what's happened with, what is it, Hurricane Helen right now? Like, all these guys that aren't firefighters, they're not cops, they're out there, civilian men out there saving people from flooded homes. That's the masculinity they really want to kill. That's what's crazy to me. Well, absolutely wild to me. These men are out there doing the Lord's work. No, nobody's paying them a penny, being brave. But yet they want to demonize masculinity. It's crazy to me. Eight-year loyalty test. My wife. The wifey of how long? Eight years. You love him? I'm in love with him. I love him for who he is. I mean, he's in the that military. That is a beard. I like it's it. It's not about his money at all. What have been in the military for? He's in there for a year. He tests me? Want y'all? Want y'all? I want to test you. Talk phones real quick. I see your phone right there. You don't got to find it. Oh, no. I see different texts with her friends, girlfriends, mother, a lot. Jasmine. Jasmine. That's my homegirl. Oh, 
pregnant. She pregnant. Mm -hmm. Wait, how would these clips? Bro, this is crazy. Let me see. Wait, no, let me you see. had a baby while I was gone? Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Are, are, are you ever gonna tell him? Are you ever gonna tell him? Are you ever gonna tell him your your baby? Yeah. I don't even know why you still didn't talk to this man. Gaslighting. Come live, live your life with your man. How the I'm gonna live my life? Your life we stay together. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, she done. He done. I'm done. Everybody done. Like, Chill. Out of here. Let's go. Hey, it's over now. Let's it's go. over now. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck though. How would you not know if your girl had a kid? I mean, like, things feel a little bit different. <laughs> Your body looks a little bit different. How are you not catching up on the clues? You see the stretch marks on the belly and you're like, ah, maybe she just had an extra, you know, entree over there at Applebee's. <laughs> like, I'm like, how would you not know that um, your girl had straight up spat out a baby like come on now military wives when their husband is on the other side of the world having his leg amputated after his best friend he got turned into a red mist. Oh, my God. Half the fun. Now we have a whole bunch of cream-filled donuts. No music. Oh my god, that is terrible. No music. This thing every morning. He asked me if I could be his like personal alarm and wake him up by his thing every morning because he's such a deep sleeper and he can never wake up to alarms. Yeah, like it's actually true because I've tried waking him up before by like putting music on and like doing stuff and doesn't wake up. But as soon as I his D, like he's awake. Buddy just might be the. Bro, he just cracked the code. He just cracked the code, gentlemen. Just tell your girl it's hard for you to wake up with an alarm. You just need, you just need a beegers, dude. <laughs> Honey, I just can't wake up. I cannot wake up. I really need you to just get in there and just <laughs> take one for the team. Gotta straighten up my life. This heat wave made me realize I can't go to hell. <laughs> Watch this, ready? What? Why you call my girl? Ooh. Why you call my girl? Because she had a different boy over last night. Ooh. I was over last night. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. You want to see the video? I woke up when you went to go down. Videos with another guy over last night. Right now, the videos. The she's a runner. She's a track star. Oh my god! I just got here. I just got here. What is that? You? Is that you right there? Does that look like you? Oh. Does that look like you? Does that look like you? Does that look like you? Oh, put the Does that look like you? Learn that life lesson, brother. Yeah, make her. Yeah, there you go. Don't even, don't even it, try to get even. Don't do anything to get even. Just go do you. This is why I say, dude, when you're in your 20s, you really, 20 to 30, we'll break it down, dude. 20 to 30, you need to focus on yourself and what you want to be good at. Work your absolute tush off. Work as hard as you can from your 20s to your 30s. From your 30s to your 40s, figure out what you're good at and double down on it. And from your 40s on, learn how to scale it. And 50s on, reap the benefits of what you've worked on your entire life. I'll give you my life as an example. So in my 20s, I was in college, went to school for music ed. I went, I got out of college. I thought I wanted to be a teacher. I thought I wanted to be a musician. I really worked on that really hard. I, I really wanted to be a musician in Austin. I really thought I was going to make it. The entire time I was doing all of that, the one thing I was avoiding was the fact that I was a good speaker, I knew how to motivate people, and my friend group around me, I could motivate them and encourage them to do certain things that they were afraid to do. I had a certain skill set that I never knew was actually something I could like monetize. So when I hit 30, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna be a famous musician, so I'm just gonna quit doing music entirely. So I did one last show in Austin at Mohawk, if any of you guys know where that place is. Um, at Mohawk, I did one last show, and I said, you know what? I'm switching to content creation. I'm gonna monetize my personality instead of my musical talent. That's when I started to flourish. So it was the thing that I actually was avoiding that actually allowed me to get to a point where I was like, wow, I actually do have something that can make my life Basically where I can work for myself, which was my personality and my wit and me talking and things like that. So I started doing Instagram, did that for two years. And then last November, we started the YouTube channel and shout out to you guys. We're at 83,000 subscribers. Um, but we started the YouTube channel and then things just started to flourish. Things started to really, you know, like 
kind of just like compound. I'm like, oh my God, we finally made it. And so now through my 30s, I'm gonna build this channel as much as I can. From my 40s to 50s, I'm gonna figure out how I can scale it, have a team of people under me. And from 50s on, I, wanna enjoy, I just wanna enjoy, um, I wanna reap the rewards of all the hard work I've been doing. But don't, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. I was 30 years old when I was like, you know what? I'm making a complete switch. Things I have worked on. I'd been a musician since I was 12 years old, from 12 to 30. My math's not the best, but I think that's like what? I don't know. How many years is that? I'm stupid. Anyways, I worked on that from 12 to 30. And then I was like, you know what? What is that, 18 years? 18 years. I worked on that for 18 years. I thought I was going to be a musician. It didn't work. So at 30, I pivoted. Don't feel like it's too late to pivot, dude. If there's that one thing you've been like, man, I wish I would have started this. Just start it. Doesn't matter how old you are. Just start doing it. Signs that she's cheating. Girls do when they're cheating. And if you're suspicious of your girlfriend cheating on you, then watch out for these signs. First thing is she will accuse you of cheating. Because she broke that trust with you, it's much more reasonable in her head to think that you could do the same. Very true. Because she did it so easily. So she will start to get conscious about the relationship like, oh, did you cheat on me? Oh, let me see your Instagram. Oh, let me see your text messages and start to act insecure. Second thing is she will fight unnecessarily and make drama out of little things. Uh, women just do that as it is. What are you talking about? If she loved you, she would not be cheating on you. And the fact that she cheated on you means that she doubted the relationship in the first place or doubted the growth in the relationship. So after she cheats, she will start to nitpick every single thing about it. On top of this, she will try to make you feel bad about things because she's feeling really bad. Third thing is you. She is not as intimate with you. One thing is she won't be as down to get down with you because when she is, she will be thinking about the guy she cheated on you with. So when she's kissing you, it feels different to her because she's kissed another man. And some bitches are just- Is she speaking from experience? Shots fired! This is normal for them. They can do it and they can hide it. But if she doesn't do this often, she won't be able to hide it. She won't be able to be as intimate with you or it won't be the same to her. But anyway, stay safe out there. And if she cheated on you, let her go. You know, it's not worth it. But let me know what else I should make and if this was valid. Uh, hi, are you from me? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh, that's how you say hi. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure if what I'm living in the in the H E double hockey sticks. Is this man wielding? What is he wielding where she can shake it like that? It must always be cold outside for me. Because, um, good lord. You ain't shaking much when it's cold out. You can do for the man in the morning. Very simple. Give him the best BJ ever because they say a good BJ gives a man more energy than any type of coffee. Notice she has an accent, aka she's not an American modern woman. Where? Did we go wrong? Gents, move to Russia. It seems like these girls got to figure it out, but I don't know. <laughs> girls in America, you ask them to do that. They're like, I'm not doing that. Real thing. I just feel like we're in competition right now because they are trying to normalize the devil. Why are so many people turning to Satan? Sam Smith performed as Satan at the Grammys. Yeah, I don't know, man. The whole, this whole thing is, is another bit of it. But what I, th what I really think it boils down to is they want to make the women promiscuous. They want to make the uh, men be women. Like, the, they just want to demasculate everything. And then the, uh, other countries are looking at us like, great, the men aren't even men anymore. This is awesome. <laughs> great. Makes them very confident in the fact of what they can do. Um, but no, it's absolutely wild to me. This is this is why I wrote the ebook, dude. The Four Pillars of Personality, because I grew up not having a father figure in my life. I didn't have somebody to lead me and coach me. Really, all I had was older guys in my life, and so I learned the game at a very early age, bro. When I was in the game, like 12, 13 years old, this is when like text message started. I was at the genesis of text messaging and figuring out how to how to have game over. Oh, wait a minute, I almost forgot. Loki, you want a carrot? Free. Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. I was at the genesis of the text message game. So I remember like going up to my older, like I had a best friend at the time. His older brother was like three years older. I was like, what should I say? And bro, he put me on absolute game. He gave us like a cheat sheet of how to, how to kiss, how to do all the other intimate things. Like how, like how to like, oh, you want to kiss a girl? Here's what you should do. Oh, you want to do this? Here's what you should do. Like they had like a freaking step-by-step -step guide. So I got put on the game real early because my parents got divorced when I was 11. And chat, let me know. Were your parents together when you grew up? Were you in a two-parent household or were you raised by a single mom or a single dad? Let me know in the comments. Uh, or were you raised by your grandparents? 
Um, so I got put onto the game really early, and so I just learned what worked. So I just doubled down on what actually worked, and I found out that being the nice guy was the last thing that you ever wanted to do. You wanted to be funny first, and you wanted to be mean second. Don't ask me why that stuff works, but from some of the videos we've reacted to, that's what women actually want. They don't even want a nice guy. If you're nice, they're like, eh, that's, a, that's an ick. I don't want that. So don't be nice. I respond to the things that get me results. And those are the things that got results. Anyways, going back to that. In the genesis of that, I didn't have a father figure to like really follow. So what I learned was the game. I didn't really learn like, hey, here's how you be a man. Here's how you lead your family. Here, I didn't learn any of that stuff. I learned how to be a player. And so that's where like, I took the, the player side of what I learned in the past. And then I also turned that into what I learned as being my own man. And then I put this in the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. You can cop it. It's in the description below. Um, but it's things like this that I grew up not even knowing that I was learning that finally when I learned it and got a little bit older and started reflecting, I was like, wow, I really had like the perfect recipe to be the person that I am today. Because if it would have been the other way around, I probably wouldn't have learned the game. I probably would have learned how to be a man and be ethical and be moral and you know, you know, know, have a lot of integrity. I, was, I wasn't taught a lot of integrity as a kid. I was poor, I scraped by, you know, like if you had to steal something here because you were hungry, that's just what it was, you know, it was, it was really tough. Um, and I was around a lot of bad influences. I was around a lot of other poor kids and poor kids make poor decisions. That's what it is, it's the amoeba effect. You're only as successful as the top five people you spend the most time with. I live lived in the poor part of the neighborhood, so that's the way I acted. I was a kid, I was impressionable. Um, but then when I got a little bit older, I learned about like reflecting on my grandfather's life when he passed away, because he was like the only really father figure I had. I was like, oh, okay, like integrity is a big thing. My grandfather was a milkman back in the day. Let me know, chat, do you remember when, when there were milkmen? Some of you guys might. But milkmen, you had to have a ton of trust with these guys because they would literally come into your house and restock your milk. Think about that. Think about that right now. A delivery guy, like Amazon delivery guy. Think about that. Every day when he drops off a package or something like that for you, he comes in your house and drops a package off or comes in your house and looks in your fridge. That's what my grandfather was doing. He's no longer our milkman. That's why there's always the jokes of like, he, um, my son doesn't even look like me, but he sure does look like the milkman. <laughs> that, that's, that's why. But no, it's crazy. But I, I urge you to reflect on your life and see where you're at right now. Notate the, the deficiencies that you have and try to double down on the things that you're good at and always work on the things you're bad at. Because once again, men, we respond to challenges and you should always want to do something a little bit harder than it was the, the day before. Laugh a lot, love a lot, and work hard, man. That's what I can say. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, Four Pillars of Personality. Make sure you're irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, Loki, did you have a good time? Excuse me, did you have a good time? He's too busy eating. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.